to my channel. My name is Jackie and thank you for watching. So today's video, I'm finally going to be reviewing and demoing the Dominique Cosmetics sweater weather collection. Um, I believe this is her holiday collection, her holiday set. And it launched, I don't remember when it launched, but it was a while ago. And I bought it like the day of that it launched because when I first whoop, when I first saw this, I was like, oh my god, this is so cute. This is so my aesthetic. The whole box is like a sweater. It's so cute. And then on the back, it has like all the eyeshadow colors, the gloss swatch, and the lipstick swatch. And yeah, so. I bought that right away. I've had it for a while, just haven't had a chance to film with it. So that is what we are doing today. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you want to see my thoughts and a look using this sweater weather palette, then just keep on watching. Put my palms on. I believe the price on this is $29 and you get a little mini eyeshadow palette with two, four, six matte shades and a mini liquid lipstick and a mini lip gloss palette. Looks like this. It looks just like what the box looks like. Um, it's like the sweater pattern and it's like textured as well. And then you open it up and there's like a little strip of a mirror in all six matte shades. So I will swatch those. So the first shade is Sweater Weather. It's like a cool tone taupey brown. So that. All these shades are matte, by the way. I think I mentioned that already. So the next shade is called Fuzzy. I don't know if this is gonna swatch well because it's very light. It's like a light, light, light pink shade with a little bit of a purple undertone. Not gonna swatch very well on my light skin, <laughs> but you get the point. The next shade is Toasty. This is more of a warmer, kind of caramel, medium brown. The next shade is Cuddle. Um, this is like a deeper pink with more of a purple tone to it. Kind of like a mauve, like a light mauve shade. Looks like that. And the next shade is called Chill. Um, in the pan, it looks like a light blue. But it goes on kind of more like a lavender purple shade. Last shade in the palette is called Messy Bun. It's the darkest shade. It's like a deep, dark, warm purple Looks like that so these are all the sheets in the sweater weather palette swatched this collection also comes with some lip products so there's the mini liquid lipstick um, I believe it's a matte finish I don't know if it says on the box Nope, I don't know. This is in the shade Cozy. And it's just a really pretty purpley mauve shade. Gloss is called Sugar and Spice. I believe this is a nude gloss. It looks a little orange, but it definitely just comes off. Well, the swatch also looks orange, but on the lips, it does look nude and it looks really pretty. So those are all the swatches of everything in this collection. I'm just going to get started and just do a quick look using this palette. First, I'm going to go in with the shade 
sweater weather and use this as my initial transition color just right in the crease. And my eyes are already primed by the way and set down with a translucent powder. Dominique Cosmetics is one of my favorite brands, um, especially one of my favorite influencer brands. I think she does a really, really good job with creating products and just running her company overall. Um, her eyeshadow formula, especially her shimmers, but her mattes too are just some of my favorite out there. They're just so creamy and pigmented and blendable and this palette is no different. Um, I've used this a few times now already. And yeah, and then her shimmers are just blinding and again like very creamy and buttery and just really easy to use and work with. I'm going to go in with the shade Chill. I really wanted to use like like more of these colors, um, like the vibrant purples that I wouldn't normally use on a daily basis. And then going back in with my original brush and blending that out. I think this is a really great everyday palette. Um, I like that it's all matte. I'll, I rarely ever use or ever do all matte looks, but I do like them from time to time. And they're just good to have. Like these are all really good colors to just keep in your vanity and have for everyday use. This is like, I would consider this an everyday palette for me. And what I like about everyday palettes is they're everyday palettes, but then they have like a pop of color in it too to, you know, mix it up sometimes. And I'm just working to blend the chill and sweater weather colors together so they're blended seamlessly into one another and there's no harsh lines. Now I'm gonna go in with Messy Bun and just kind of pack this on the outer corner. And I'm going back in with this BH Cosmetics brush that I used to apply the chill shade and just kind of working messy bun into the crease a little bit and helping it to merge with all the other colors I put down and then I'll go back in with my original blending brush and just kind of blend this all out. Oh, I'm just going to pack some of messy bun on the lower lash line, keeping it on the outer half. Taking a pencil brush, I'm going to pick up sweater weather and just buff out that lower lash line. I'm going to quickly clean up my lid space with some MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Just to kind of clean this area up a little bit. Not really doing like a cut crease or anything, just like I said, cleaning it up. Then I'm going to take the shade Cuddle and pack this on my lid where I just put down the painterly paint pot. Last, I'm going to take the shade Fuzzy and just put this on my inner corner to highlight and then also my brow bone to highlight.
So off camera, I just added some eyeliner. I put on Dose of Colors Crushed Eyeliner on my waterline and put on some mascara. I'm using the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara right now. And these are the finished eyes. going to try on the lips so I'll do the liquid lipstick first so I'm just going to line real quickly with, with this color pencil in the shade Mamacita put on the cozy shade now I'm just going to take a lip pencil real quick and blend this in. So I thought these colors were going to be like exact matches, but they're not. This is very, very purple. I like never use this, so that's my fault in forgetting what it's actually like. Whereas this is more of like a mauve, whereas this is straight purple. So like they work, but you just have to blend them into one another. So this is the lip by itself, um, it's like a semi matte, like it's a little sticky but it's, it dried down pretty fast. And then so I'm just going to put the gloss on top of it, this is in the shade Sugar and Spice. So those are the two combined together. That is everything that comes with the sweater weather collection. Um, but I also want to show you what the gloss looks like over a new lipstick. So when I ordered this, I also ordered the Dominique Cosmetics Liquid Matte Lipstick in Nude Kiss. So I'm just going to take this off and put that on and put the gloss on top of it. So that's what it looks like. Um, this is interesting, whereas it looks orange, and then even when I swatched it on my arm, it looked a little orange, but when you put it on your lips on top of something, it doesn't look orange at all. It really does just look like, look like a pure nude lip gloss. So my final thoughts on this collection is I love it. I would highly recommend it. Um, I always recommend her eyeshadows. This is like one of the best formulas, in my opinion. And I think her palettes are always worth it. So you can't buy any of these separately. It only comes in the set, but for $29 and getting a six pan eyeshadow palette, a lipstick and a lip gloss, I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, I really love the lip gloss. I see myself using this a lot. I do like this color and I do think I'll use it just not as often because this is more of the color that I tend to go for on a daily basis. But um, everything performs really well, everything looks really good I think. And you can do a lot with this from everyday looks to more fun looks to purple looks, like everything. So, um, and this would be like a really good partner palette for some of her other palettes or any other palette really. So these are just always nice to have in your collection. So. I really recommend this. I saw you can get it on Sephora now and then of course her website and I will have it linked down below. And yeah, so that completes this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. And again, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.